Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am in my closet. Does this bring back memories guys? So you guys know that I'm kind of tweaking up my office, which is where I really prefer to film. I have a dedicated spot. It's kind of like a whole situation to kind of set up lighting and everything in here. I'm also testing out a new lens. So it was a situation to set up in here. Now I'm not saying I'm not going to film in here every once in a while, but I think more for every video situation it's better for me to have a place that I can just sit turn on the camera and be ready to go but I figured for today's video since my office isn't set up yet um, I don't have my background done I figured we would go and film a haul in here it's kind of a little nostalgic from old times and um but anyways I just thought it'd be fun to kind of do this in here but I've got a ton of stuff to show you so let's get started so the first thing that I want to show you guys is I was actually sent a few iPhone 10 cases you guys know I just recently got the iPhone 10 um, I love the packaging that they sent these in it's from a brand called Berga so they did come in these like open cases which I thought was really cool I did pick three different ones um, I'm probably not going to use all three so I'm probably going to use one or two for myself and then I will save one or two for you guys you guys know I really love to do that especially if I'm sent stuff and these are really nice they have two different versions they have just the slimline cases and these had a little bit more of um, the like silicone on the inside so there's a little bit more protection so I did get the ones that had more protection and they're not bulky and big which I love so I'm gonna actually put one on my phone really quickly let me see which one do I like the best I think I like the one with a little bit of pink in it. So I'm going to go with this one. Let me put it on my phone and I'll show you guys. So I changed my mind and I ended up going with the one with the gold veining. I just thought that I liked this one a little bit better. Plus it matches my pop socket. So um, this one actually feels really comfortable in the hand and I love that it has that extra layer of protection. So yes, digging these really, really nice. Probably going to save these for you guys to do in a giveaway or something because you guys know I like doing kind of random giveaways here and there. But I'm loving this case. It's really nice. I think I'm going to use this for from now on. I'll put my pop socket on it in just a little bit. But let me go ahead and go into some other stuff that I have and I actually picked up this from HEB the other day I saw that best of beauty allure sticker on it so I went ahead and bought it this is the not your mother's beach babe soft waves sea salt spray um, with sea salt aloe and sea kelp in the tropical banana scent um I obviously have really straight hair so I'm not sure how this is going to work for me but I love the idea of kind of putting a little bit of texture in my hair, especially if we're going to be outside. I know lately my hair has been kind of crazy um, just when we go, we're outside or we're doing like outside activities. So I love the idea of kind of doing something like this, kind of scrunching it up a little bit, having a little bit of texture so that when I'm outside and my hair is like just acting a fool with the wind and stuff that it kind of looks like it's on purpose. So we'll see. I'll give this a try. I don't know if this is going to work for the texture of my hair, but it was like $5 or something. Like I said, I got this at HEB, but I would imagine you can find this at any like grocery store or CVS or whatever, anything like that. And then I also ordered a few things from Charlotte Tilbury. I've been wanting to try a couple of things. And I mentioned to you guys that there was something that I was going to be trying to kind of compare to one of my favorite beauty products and it is um my La Mer creme de la Mer. you guys know that is a very pricey product but I love it it really is a favorite night cream for me so I have bought it over and over and over it's expensive but it is really good and worth it so I do not have a problem buying it however I've been really interested in trying the um I believe this is called the Magic Cream. Uh, yeah, Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. Um, I bought the 1.7 ounce. So it is still a pricey product, but if you compare it to La Mer's, it is much more affordable. So it's still expensive, but not as expensive as the La Mer product. Um, and so this one is, um, the packaging is so cute. So it is, an, I'm going to use it as a night cream. I'm basically going to probably test this out for the next month or so, maybe even just a couple of weeks and see how I like it. I would love to kind of try something different and it work for me just so that I can give you guys some other options. I'm probably not going to start testing it until next month because I'm going on a trip in a couple of weeks and I really don't want to have any issues with my skin. So I'm probably going to wait and not test it until like May or something just because I just don't want to if I have a reaction to it or something. Um, so I'm probably going to do that but just know that I will be testing this out soon and letting you guys know how it compares to La Mer because I'm always looking for an alternative to La Mer just because it's so expensive, I know. I also got the Instant Magic Facial Dry Sheet Mask. I've seen so many people use this mask. and I'm going to go and open it, but 
you know, I'm just, I, I'm just curious to kind of look at it and see. I'm not going to touch it. Um, so it looks like there's one sheet mask, but if you look, it's completely dry. So it's a sheet mask that you put on your face and it's infused with all kinds of like yummy goodness for your skin. You put it on for like 15 minutes, just like you would a regular sheet mask, but it's dry. I've heard it's really good. Um, you can use this mask like five times or something like that. Like you can use it a couple of times. So the next thing that I have is also from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the last of the Charlotte Tilbury stuff. And this is the um, Color Morphing Eyeshadow Pencil. And I got it in the color, where is the shade color? Amber Haze. Um, hopefully this works. I'm sure it will. Uh, yeah, I think this is going to be the perfect color for me. So you basically use this as an eyeshadow pencil, basically. And it's like a cream eyeshadow. I thought it would be a great alternative to my Indian Wood paint pot. I believe that's what it's called, Indian Wood. The, you guys know I always use that paint pot from MAC. I believe it's called Indian Wood. Um, and I love that. And you guys always ask about that. So I'm always looking for different kind of things to get a similar vibe, but just different. And I figured I would give this a try. And then I also have some jewelry. Oh, well, actually, you know what? I'm going to go and show you guys. I did order the native deodorant. I actually ordered the three pack. So you can see I've got two here that um, I've got, I ordered, it was like a little tester set and I have the unscented sensitive and the cotton and lily. And I believe I got sensitive on all of them because I wanted to get without baking soda. So I did get sensitive on all of them. And then the other one that I have is like a vanilla something. So I'm actually currently using that. I've been using it for about a week and I like it. I do think that I am going through slightly of a detox because I did go back to my unnatural deodorant, like my not natural deodorant. So I am going to it through a slight detox. So we will see. Um, I do want to keep testing these out for another few weeks. Hopefully it works out because like I said, I bought three. I actually bought three, the set, and then I bought like a little travel one. It was like $3. Um, so I'm trying out some more natural deodorants. I've been trying out natural deodorants. I haven't stopped, but yes, I will let you guys know how that works out for me. Um, and then I also picked up another bottle of my Coco Mademoiselle. I'm almost out of this perfume. I actually ordered the Mademoiselle Intense. I'm not sure if you guys have seen that online. Um, I was hoping that it would be this exact scent, but like a stronger, just more intense version of it. And it wasn't. It was a completely different scent. This is my favorite perfume of life. So I actually ended up um, exchanging it for this one because I just love this perfume so much. This is basically my signature scent. I have it in obviously the perfume. I love it in the body oil. It's amazing in the body oil. Uh, I just think in general, this is one of the most beautiful perfumes that I've ever smelled. And I just love it. It smells so good. I, I Check this out, I promise. It's very sexy, but it's great for day, but it's also really, really, really sexy and intense enough for evening and like nighttime activities as well. I love it. It's my favorite of life forever. <laughs> So I ended up ordering another necklace. You guys know I've been buying um, a lot. Well, not really a lot, but I've been buying some jewelry pieces lately just because I want to have a little bit more of a variety when it comes to jewelry and kind of picking pieces on a daily basis. I noticed that I wear the same pieces over and over. Um, I also wanted to start buying pieces that were a little bit nicer, but still affordable. Like I'm not saying like spending hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars on jewelry. I'm not really into that. I'm really not. Uh, but I figured in Instead of spending $10 or $20 on an item, maybe spend $40, $50, $60 on something and it lasts a little bit more as opposed to it tarnishing or something like that. So I've been picking up a lot of these like, oh, I can't take the tag off. Let me just try it on with the tag. I want to show you, but I love this piece. It's really, really simple and everyday piece. It's a circle with some bling on it. And like I said, I just really like this for every day. Um, it's going to be great just to kind of throw on. It is gold, so it's not too toned, but you can see it's just really, really simple. Um, perfect length. I just think this is going to layer really nicely with a lot of my other pieces, but it's nice enough that you can definitely wear it on its own. It's really dainty and pretty, but a great standalone piece or great for layering. Um, I also was sent a bracelet. Um, this is from a brand called Joseph Noguchi. Um, it is rose gold and it has a panther head with some stones in it. Um, I love the look of this because of the eyes. It's just so beautiful. And I'll show you a close up. It is really, really, really beautiful. And I think it's just going to be a really nice, like, simple, dainty piece kind of layered in with my other bracelets and stuff. My only complaint about it is I do wish that it was yellow gold. I would probably wear it more often. If it was yellow gold, it would probably be, like, an everyday piece. But I really, really love this. I'll link this down below for you, of course. Just like everything else. Just know everything will be linked down below. 
I also ordered another pair of sunglasses. I'm just kind of becoming like a sunglass person. I don't know. And I just thought these were different. You guys know I'm a big Ray-Ban fan. So when I saw these, I had to order them. I was really curious to see if they were going to look good on my face shape. And I do think they look nice. There's something different from my collection. I don't have anything like this. And what's funny is after I bought them and I've been wearing them for like the last week or so, so many people have this style. I'm like, how have I not known about like something like this for a while? So I don't know if they're a newer style for Ray-Ban, but I love these. I hadn't seen them, and if I if I would have, I would have ordered them a long time ago. But I think these are going to be perfect for like spring, summer. I think these are perfect year-round, but I have been wearing them a lot with my new hat. You guys have probably seen this hat that I've been wearing like crazy. Um, so I've been wearing the this like combo, and I love this together. It's just kind of like... I don't know cool and I don't know if I'm cool enough to wear this but but I'm like rocking it and I love it so yeah I picked up this hat um, from Nordstrom's the other day it comes in two different colors it comes in the white with the black and then it comes in more of like a natural straw love it so cute now let me fix my hair if you're looking for a hat and you're not much of a hat person because I don't consider myself a hat person and when I say a hat person I mean like hats not baseball caps um, I can wear a baseball cap all day long I wear them all the time they're great for just kind of throwing on especially if you're having a bad hair day I'm talking about like hats like stylish hats you guys know I've really struggled with trying to find some hats that work for me that I would actually wear this is probably the first hat that I've ever bought that I've truly ever looked forward to grabbing and wearing and not felt self-conscious when I was wearing it. It's a really good, the proportions are really good for me. Um, if you are not a hat person, try this one out. I really like it. I'm digging this like this. Like I said, I will link it down below. I also want to show you guys, I picked up a couple of these and I have bought more than one. I think I bought two of them, two or three. Um, these are like these like t-shirt bra type thing. Well, I don't know if I would call it a t-shirt bra. It's kind of like a sports bra like a really, really, really light version of a sports bra, I guess you could say. Um, it is so great for just around the house. I'm going to be real honest. Before I bought these, I just didn't wear a bra whenever I was home. I would just take it off. Um, and these are so comfortable. But I, it's enough that like if I feel like I need to go check the mail or I need to go outside real quick for the, with the boys or, or just be outside, I'm wearing something. I feel like I'm wearing something. So I love this. I would totally go run errands in this. It's so comfortable. Um, I did get the size small, um, and I do think it fits really nicely. It's not a lot of support. I'm going to be real honest. It's not a lot of support, but I didn't want it for that reason. I wanted it just for something other than than wearing nothing if that makes sense so it's fine it works just fine for like I said this throw on a t-shirt or th this when you're lounging around the house I actually put this on sometimes when I'm lounging around the house in my pajamas and then I just take this off before I go to bed uh, but I'm loving these and I want to say they were like $19 or something yeah they were $19 I got a size small and I'm loving these it comes in a few colors I've been gearing up for spring and summer and I bought two handbags don't get too excited they're not designer very very affordable very trendy but perfect so the first bag that I want to show you guys is this bag I hesitated to buy this bag because I, everybody has this bag I know they do I know I know okay so I actually wanted this bag last year I really fell in love with it last year but by the time I wanted to buy it it was so late in the season that I was like you know what I'm just gonna wait until next season and I'll buy it you know next year for spring and summer and then whenever I was like okay I'm gonna go ahead and go get that bag everybody has it okay so I ended up deciding to go ahead and buy it anyway I know everybody has it but I do really like it it was like $40 guys so I don't care if everybody has it. I'm going to be able to enjoy this with some fun spring and summer dresses and just really fun casual looks or whatever or even dressier looks. Um, it is very see-through but I put my stuff in there and it doesn't really bother me. I will say you're not going to want to put a lot in there because it's going to get heavy just because of the way that you hold it. It's going to get heavy but like I said I found it for 40 bucks. I, I don't care if everybody has it. It's cute. It's trendy. I know but it's kind of perfection for spring and summer right now. Um, and I know that this is a knockoff of a designer version that costs like $200 or $300 or $400. I don't know. It's expensive. It's a few hundred dollars. I would never spend that much on this. Like I said, I, I found this, I want to say I paid $39.99 
and it was free shipping. So yes, I'll link this down below. I love it. I love it. And I also found this one. I also ordered this one online. This one, what, what, what was funny about this one is because I knew I was buying this one and everyone had it. I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy this one. This one's fun and different and I didn't see anybody having like have it. Um, and then I ordered it and now I see everybody has this style. You can, you can find a style very similar to this everywhere. So this one was a little bit more expensive. I want to say I spent $50 or $60 on this one, but it's so cute. It's so cute. Um, I love the way that it opens up. It's literally just like this. It feels very like authentic to like another country or something. Um, I just, I love this. So I just think it's really cute. The closure is just this little tie around the knobby. And then you've got this like leather strap. I have already worn this once crossbody and I so cute. It's a really good size. It fits everything that you need. And I just think these are going to be perfect. I've got a top handle bag. I've got a long strap shoulder crossbody bag for spring and summer. I'm pretty much set for my spring, summer, beach, trendy bags. This is just kind of perfect to add to my collection. I got both of them for like a hundred bucks. So two bags for a hundred bucks. It's going to cover everything. Really Speaking of spring and summer, I've already started buying like cut off crazy shorts and I found these. These are actually my favorite pair. I love these. So these actually had, I'm going to tell you guys like a little trick secret that I did. So when I, when you buy these, these have, these have like a crochet on them. I wasn't super crazy about the crochet. So I actually cut it. I cut it off. I just cut it off. That's all I did is I pulled the pockets out of the shorts and I cut off the crochet part of this. And now they're just like regular denim, um, cut off shorts. I love these. Make sure you order a size up. I went up a size and they fit so well. They're short. I'm usually a two or sometimes even zero short in their denim. Um, but I did go up a size in these and they fit so much better. I also got these. I thought these were fun for a darker wash. They're slightly different here on the side. Um, these show a little bit more leg than I'm used to, but this inseam is really nice here and I feel really comfortable with it there. Um, I always get the middies for theirs because they just fit a lot better. These are called next level stretch. Let me see if these are. Yeah, next level stretch. Um, but I love these. Check these out. I want to say they were buy one, get one half off. Um, I'll put the links down below. I'm constantly ordering their shorts in the spring uh, and summertime because they're so good, so affordable, and I really, really like them. So I have three pairs of shoes to show you guys. So the first pair is a pair of Birkenstocks. And I know you either love Birkenstocks or you hate them. So I ordered these. One, because I... I think they're cute. I think that they can totally work for a certain style, a very casual boho um, style, like effortless style. I'm all about that style, especially re recently. I'm all about that casual effortless look. So I really wanted to get a pair of Birkenstocks. I've been eyeing them, honestly, the last like two or three summers. And I've, I even asked you guys, I want to say I asked you guys last year if I should get some. And a lot of you guys said no, but a lot of you guys were like, they're so comfortable. And last year I worked with a photographer and every single time I met with her, she was always wearing Birkenstocks and she had like three or four pairs. And she was like, they're literally the most comfortable shoes or the only thing I'll wear on a shoot if it's, you know, spring and summer, if it's not like cold. Um, so I decided to go and buy a pair. I've already worn them once and guys, they really are comfortable. I was hesitant. I'm not going to lie because five or so years ago, I bought like a knockoff pair of Birkins from just like a random store and they were not comfortable. So that's part of the reason why I, why I hesitated to buy them. Um, I finally bought them and I love them. I went with like one of their classic kind of colors. These are the soft bed ones. I think the soft bed is a newer thing. Um, and I love the color. I wore them already and they really are comfortable. I wore them like I think I was wearing them for like five or six hours and I really, really liked them. I did. They fit perfectly. They were very comfortable. And I mean, I didn't feel like they made my foot look clunky or anything, which I will say that's one of the things I was worried about them making my feet look clunky and they didn't. I really like these. And then I also ended up getting a second color of these Adidas shoes. You guys know how much I like the gray ones. I did go down half a size this time and I, and they fit me. They fit me really nicely, but you guys know I don't usually wear like socks with these. Um, I'll wear like those no ho, no show pantyhose socks. Um, I'll link those down below with these as well so you can see what I wear. But I like to do that because it looks like I'm not wearing anything at all. But I have like a little bit of coverage on my foot. I loved this color. I actually really want to get the blush color, the pink color. Um, but I love this color. I love this green color. I feel like it goes 
with so much. It really does. And it's different. I feel like everybody doesn't have like a green pair of shoes. And I just think this is a really nice shade of green. Like I said, I have the gray ones. I love these. These are so comfortable. The gray ones I have in a six and a half and these I have in a six and they both fit me fine. Um, I, I'm, I think for me, I would look at it this way. If you're planning on wearing them with socks, like a regular no-show sock or just like a sock, go with true to size. If you're planning on wearing them more of like stylish and you want it to look like you're not wearing any socks and you're going to wear them either with no socks or like the pantyhose socks, go down half a size is what I would say. So the next pair of shoes that I have is actually a pair of Valentino shoes. I've been eyeing these shoes for a while um, and I just was really hesitant to buy another nude heel, but I wear nude all the time. I wear nude um, pumps and heels all the time. So I just feel like you could never have too many. So I ended up getting the Valentino Rockstead pump. This one doesn't have any straps or anything. It's a fully enclosed pump. This is the 100 size, which is perfect to me. That is like my dream size. It's really comfortable, especially in this particular brand. Valentino shoes are really comfortable in my opinion. I love them. I think you can wear them for most of the day um, and be fairly comfortable. I did go true to size on these. I will say they are a teeny teeny weeny bit loose not so loose that I wanted to go down a half a size so I ended up buying these little inserts and I'm just gonna put these here inside the shoe just to kind of take up a little bit of space to make my foot feel perfectly snug and I think they're gonna be great I think they're gonna wear nice I have a feeling these are gonna end up being more comfortable than those shoes there we will see I will let you guys know you definitely see them styled make sure you're following me on Instagram or the blog or something so you can check out kind of my outfits and stuff like that and how I sell all these kind of things a little bit more on a daily basis. I share an Instagram photo once a day. I also, if you don't have Instagram, maybe you have Twitter, if you have Facebook, I'm Lux Mommy on all of them. Um, and I share all my outfits on those platforms as well. But yes, I cannot wait to wear these and style these and share with you guys how I wear them. So I do want to go into some clothes to show you guys and I have some more basics. You guys know I'm all about my basics. I love these tees. They are either $10 or $12 depending on the color that you get. I have them in so many colors. I have like two or three blacks, two or three grays. I have a light gray. I have several whites, um, but I love these. I will link both colors down below. Check these out. I do go up half size just because I want them to be really comfortable. So I get them in a size medium and I think they work perfectly. Though I will say, I think the small would fit just fine. But for some reason, I just buy these in a medium and it's always work. It does have a little roll up sleeve detail, but I just kind of let it kind of just do its thing and just kind of be like there and floppy and stuff. And I really like that. But these are so cute. I love these. Like I said, I have multiple in every color. They're a must to me. A great, great, great basic. And I know we're going into spring and summer, but I wanted to show you guys these sweaters because they really are great even for spring and summer. I actually wore this one the other day with a bralette and some cut off shorts. Um, I do want to chat with you really quickly about these because I've shown this gray one quite a bit. I've already worn it a ton and I love it. Um, so I know that when, first of all, when you get these sweaters, they are a little stiff whenever you get them, but after you wash them once or twice, they actually really soften up. Now they're super soft. Um, what I love about these is, well, one, they're oversized. They, you do not get a size in these. They are just one size fits all. What I love about these is you can throw this on over a bikini with cut off shorts. Let this kind of hang off your shoulder and it's so cute. Great for like if you're hanging out the bonfire or something like that. The gray is my favorite color, but I also got it in this like marble brown color too. But like I said, when you get them, just know that they are going to be a little bit stiff, but once you wash them, they're actually really soft. Like I've, I've only, wa I've only worn the brown one, I think once, and it's already really soft, but because I've worn the gray one like three or four times and I've washed it, it's actually super soft now. So definitely I recommend these. If you can only get one color, get the gray one. It's my favorite. I do love this color as well, but the gray one is by far my favorite. And I actually kind of want to get a second gray one just to have as backup because I really like it that much and I think these are like $19 so like 20 bucks or something like that which I think is great I feel like these are such a great year-round even though it's a sweater because of the way that it fits on your body it's so cute with cut-off shorts and like I said a bralette or a bikini top or something perfect for those cooler evenings in uh, in the spring and summer whenever you're hanging out by the bonfire or something like that um, and I just really like them for year round. I'm not going to wear them in the middle of the hot day, but like I said, perfect for evenings and things like that. I really, really love that. And I've had a lot of people talk about this denim jacket. It is so good. I love it. It's perfectly oversized. I did get it in a size small, though I think that 
any size that you get is going to be fine because they're so big and oversized. I rolled up the sleeves quite a bit. There is a perfect amount of distressing all over the jacket. I love the way it fits. It's like 35 bucks or something like that. I'll link a few options. They actually have a couple of different options for this if this particular one isn't available, but I love this. Get an oversized jacket. They're so much easier to style than the more fitted ones. Get one with distressing and oversized. They really are so much easier to style than the more fitted ones, and I love this one. And it looks so expensive, and it's so affordable. I also ordered this blazer and I loved the pink color. I don't know, I'm just into softer, more feminine colors lately and I really just kind of fell in love with this one. I did get this one in a size small, I believe. If not, I'll link it down below. I can't remember what size I got in this one. Um, but I love, like I said, I love the color. I love the sleeve detail. It has a little bit of ruching already on it. So I just think it already looks a little bit more stylish. There are no buttons on it. So you're just going to wear it open, which is the way that I wear my blazers anyway. And I just, I don't know. I just thought this one was fun, really affordable and really cute. I think it's going to be really nice for the office, but also really great just for grabbing lunch or brunch or dinner with your friends. I also ordered this camel blazer. Now, I will say I didn't realize how thick this was going to be. Um, it's probably going to be too thick for me to wear this like spring and summer, but I'm definitely going to be saving this for fall and winter because it's a great color. I love the button contrast. I did get this in a size small. I think this is going to be great with like an all black outfit underneath. I just think it's really cute. I can imagine it with over denim. There's just a lot that I can imagine over just like a basic white tee and some denim. Um, but like I said, it's just a little bit too thick for spring and summer. If you're still cold, this would be a great kind of one to add and I love the color this you guys know I this is like my favorite shade of brown and last but certainly not least is this maxi dress I am obsessed with the colors in this dress I love the flutter sleeves they are just so pretty the length surprisingly works for me as long as I'm wearing heels I'm five foot two um, and I love like the wrap detail so I just love the colors how pretty are the colors in this dress it's just such a pretty dress very nice and flowy wedding dress bridal shower it's just such a beautiful dress the coloring is perfect and I really really love this and I got this in a size extra small so that is everything guys I hope you guys enjoyed this haul I'll link everything down below of course thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video talk to you soon bye bye I just wanna hold you